So welcome to part two. This is Sunday, you've done your work. It's time for Fearless Fundamentals. You've got your journal, you've taken your notes, right? So for those of you that are just tuning in, if you watched my Friday video that I did for Fearless Friday, I challenge you to get a small notebook and to start to take notes on, uh, to go out and take some action, to go out and push yourself into physical tension, to start to push your boundaries a little bit by saying hi, doing stops, doing directs, doing tension stops. I talk about all that in that video. And to start to take notes or report the details and develop your observer around the experience you're having internally. And if you did that, then you should have a journal with a good amount of notes about your personal experience with approaching, with socializing, with talking, with pushing your boundaries. Uh, if you haven't done that, definitely go back and check out this video right now. Click the link wherever it's at in this video and check out that video right now. And do that first because that's gonna lead into this video. Now, for this week's, uh, for Sunday, let's talk about what you just did. You should have a bunch of notes now notes about yourself, about realizations, about how you felt when you were doing the approaches and practicing opening your heart and relaxing into your body. And if you didn't push too hard, you didn't state pump and push really hard, you didn't pull back, you're going to get some real clarity. You know, I was really nervous when I did this, or I started out really closed. And but the more I did it, after like 10 different highs, I started to feel a little more open, there was still some insecurity. But I also felt really good at the same time. And you can feel these polarities. You're going to start to get a realization that one part of your body can be pulling back and another part can be opening up. Another part can be leaning in while another part wants to run away. We have these polarities all through our body. And I want you to start to track these polarities as you move forward week in and week out. You might be walking down the street saying stuff like, like, oh my God, I feel a little raw right now. I feel a little nervous and my highs are a little meek, but I'm going to let them be a little meek for a little bit. And uh, I'm going to keep working on catching eye contact with people and feeling the vulnerability. Ah, there we go. There's another piece. And I felt really vulnerable. I felt really, uh, but I felt really powerful. Or right now I feel myself getting bolder and bolder naturally. Oh, I'm, I feel my hips more. I'm starting to drop into a little turn on. Or that girl really affected me for some reason. That girl really made me want to run away. Or when I said hi to that person and they pulled back a little bit, I felt shame and I felt guilt for saying hi to that person or throwing out the compliment to that person. And as you start to get this information, you're going to start to develop an awareness of what your body feels like during communication. When you're talking to women, when you're talking to strangers, when you're socializing, when you're conversing, and you're going to start to feel that part of yourself. And I want you to notice particularly that part of yourself that starts to rise up and close off. You're going to be closing off in different parts of your body and you're going to be a sense of rising up and feeling your body less and less. And that's a great detail to write down. If you just did 10 highs and you don't remember feeling your body at all, write that down. Wow, I, I'm totally in my head. My mind is racing. I'm thinking a lot. I can't stop thinking and I feel just anxious inside and I can't feel anything. Maybe I did too much. Maybe I pushed too hard. And you can start to notice that too. This is all about developing internal awareness. Now we're playing with emotional tension. We played with physical tension on Friday. Now we're playing with emotional tension. We played with the external. Now we're playing with the internal. This would be more of the vulnerability side. The external is the masculine, pushing through it, dealing with the shit when the shit hits the fan, going up and showing up anyways in the midst of, of tension and, and difficulty. Today, it's about going inside and taking the time to just surrender to what you're feeling, acknowledging it and removing the right and wrong of it. No matter what it is, can I let go of the part of myself that's, that's making this right or wrong, good or bad, that's attached to this or averse to this, that says I, that I shouldn't do this or I should do this. Can I, let, can I welcome that part of myself that's stuck that feels like I'll never get past this? Can I just watch that thought in my head that says I'll never get past this, that nothing will ever change? And that's what you're learning to do. This is where you begin to welcome everything that's in the journal. You begin to welcome all the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions, and the emotions that are coming up right now in your body as you reread that stuff. As you look through it, and stuff starts to come up, memories come back, you're gonna have internal experiences right now. Don't try to go into the past. Remember the past and notice what your now experience is. And I want you to practice welcoming. See if you can sit there and just be with the feeling. 
notice if there's any part of yourself, and this is the real key here, as you start to go back and you start to welcome what's coming up and you're now with the now feeling with each one of those emotions, start to remove all the sense that it's right or wrong, good or bad, that you should do it this way, you should do it that way. Remove all the logic and just experience feeling what's coming up. What you want to do is get to the point where you're almost free of it. There's a sense that it's neither right or wrong. It's just I just feel good when I look at it. It doesn't even bother me. Like I can laugh at it now. If you can reach this point where there's a little smile or a laugh or you actually start to feel your heart opening to it, that's when you're really making progress. And it's very simple. This is a releasing process. And now you've got all kinds of material to release on. Just sit down and read the first line. Let's do it right now. Let's do it together. Sit down, open your journal and read your first set of experiences. Read your first set of details. Notice what's coming up. How does it make you feel? Do you feel heavier or lighter? Do you feel yourself opening or closing? Do you feel yourself going back to a memory wanting to judge it? Or do you feel pride coming up? Notice the emotional experience and where it's at in the body. And start to check with the feeling in your heart. Notice what that feels like. And then start to check with the feeling in your stomach. Notice what that feels like. And then start to check with the feeling down in your, in your hips and your turn on. Notice what that feels like. Notice if there's any sense of right or wrong with any of this, good or bad. Or if it means something about you. And just be with that for a little bit. And as you do this, you're going to start to notice that you become more aware of your internal experience. And that's exactly what we want. And then see if you can just practice accepting that internal experience a little bit. You can relax into it. You can make it easy for yourself. And then see if you can really accept it a little bit more and a little bit more. Try saying yes to it. See how that feels. And see if you can let it go all together and just open your heart and forget about what you're reading. Put it down for a second. Just open and feel good for a second. And just breathe and feel your heart relax. And then after you've done that for 10, 20, 30 seconds, a minute, you can go back to the journal again and start to read. And I want you to do this process with everything in the book until you can reach a point where you're very much able to look at everything, remember it, and start to relax into it. Start to feel good about the experience. Whether the experience was technically good or bad, whether you got sad or happy, it's all a good experience. That's the point I'm trying to make. It's all teaching you something. You're learning from it. And as you get more comfortable with every experience that you write down in that book, every observation, you stop making it right or wrong, good or bad, you'll start to become a more powerful communicator and you'll start to become more confident because true confidence comes not from walling off your emotions, but becoming powerful in the face of them. Being able to open your heart and your stomach and say, hey, I'm raw and I'm right here and I can handle it. And I'm, hey, what's up? How you doing? Oh man, that made me nervous. Oh, I'm embarrassed. Oh. But there's a part of you that loves it too. And that's what you're learning to do by writing all this down and doing this week in and week out. Now, I want to invite you into an idea, a secondary idea. I have done several videos, actually four in particular over the last couple months on releasing. And these videos could be perfect to listen to after you go out and journal a bunch of notes about being out practicing, approaching, saying hi, doing stops. Listen to these videos and process the emotions that come up. I just took you through like a one or two minute kind of idea, but these are much longer and much more in depth. So one that, that people love a lot is my full body scan. That was recorded at a workshop for a small select group of people. That's why it's tenty and sounds terrible. But people love it and have had amazing growth from it. And I've been listening to it more myself. And uh, I've, I'm actually getting growth from it. So uh, definitely check that out. And uh, it's, called, it's called the full body scan meditation. Link somewhere in here. Another one that I think is powerful to listen to is Who Are You As A Man? I love this one. This is one of my favorites. It's really developing that masculine confidence. A video I did with a release and a reveal on being a more masculine, powerful man. So if you're feeling insecure or needy or nervous after doing a bunch of approach exercises, listen to this one and help to bring back that masculine confidence. Um, when you're really stuck, um, there's two other ones that I think are great. Uh, when change doesn't happen, that's another good one. 
And uh, that one was all about welcoming something that's unacceptable. I just can't accept this. I can't accept it. It really helps you with that. And then I have another one along the same lines, what to do when you are stuck. And that, that one, what to do when you're stuck has been, I've been getting lots of comments from people that it's really helping to affect huge parts of their lives, getting them unstuck from areas they've been stuck their whole lives. People in the non-dating arena are messaging me over that, saying it's changing their lives. So these four uh, releases and reveals can really help to shift your life. So what I want you to do from now on for the next, commit to a period of time. I want you to write it down. I want you to seriously stick to it. You're gonna journal. You're gonna go out and do your, your, your highs to your stops, to your, to your conversations, whatever it is. Maybe you're gonna go up and boldly just ask for phone numbers right off the bat, like, like in Anthony's videos on, uh, on getting a phone number, just, just for the practice of getting over the fear of asking for phone numbers. Or you're either gonna do releases on your own or you're gonna take one of these recorded releases and listen to it and process everything that comes up. Just let it go. And commit to at least a month of this, maybe two months, three months, however long you feel ready, you can commit to without forcing it and really notice what this process does for you. It's gonna really help you process a lot of that vulnerability that you see as bad. And you're gonna to start to realize that vulnerability can be strong or it can be needy. And what you're gonna do is learn to take the identification and the neediness off the vulnerability and build strength in the face of your own vulnerability, which is gonna make you damn attractive to women. And uh, you're gonna become more powerful and you're, you're gonna have amazing emotional tension skills as well as physical tension skills from these two practices. So again, this video was meant to go with the video I did on Friday, my Fearless Friday video. So check that one out if you haven't uh, watched it already and then come back to this one and apply these principles, commit to a period of time, do the work because when you put the two together, external action that's the masculine that's bold that's driving that's that penetrating force with the internal ability to disidentify and relax into your body and open up and learn from the experiences you've had grow process and pro and stop making a vulnerability wrong and start learning to love and appreciate your vulnerability and actually feel strong in the face of your own own vulnerability you're going to develop more freedom from outcome and you're going to become a damn attractive man and that is the real key to growth that's what fearless is all about that's what all our workshops do in that process it's going to become so much easier to develop the qualities of a really attractive man and as you develop those qualities you'll become more and more attractive and speaking of that my new book is out the art of fearless seduction definitely check out that book that's where we go through all these qualities the tension that's what we're doing this on friday and sunday is we're working a lot of tension vulnerability that's also what we're working the vulnerability on friday and sunday learning to to be vulnerable, the mindset, the belief. Uh, we also talk about that in that book, but getting that right mindset, really powerful. Um, the different parts of the body that you can learn to feel from, and that's where that book can become a really powerful resource because maybe you feel really confident in the heart and the heart's starting to feel really open and feels good, but then you hit the stomach and it goes in and it hurts or the turn on pulls back and is numb. And that book talks a lot about each of these different aspects of the book of, of, of your body from your intention to your communication to your heart to your gut brain and, and all that the power in there to your turn on and your ability to be turned on in the face of a woman to own that turn on and down to your grounding and if you could start to learn to scan the whole body um, and start to learn to feel the whole body and start to process the emotions that are coming up in each part of the body. You don't try to get it all at once, but a little bit at a time and start to understand what you're working with. You're going to go that much faster. So click the link in this video, wherever it's at for the art of fearless seduction and check out that book Get that book. Now I'm sure you'll love it. And uh, with that said, I hopefully you love these two videos and maybe we'll do some more series like this and don't worry, Anthony, I'll be back. Uh, He's off on a little vacation right now. And we'll start to put more and more stuff like this together to help you guys grow that much faster. So with all that said, hopefully you enjoy these videos. Definitely comment below, smash that like button, share this video with anybody you think could really use it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. All that helps us to grow the channel, to bring you the most amazing content. You guys notice we're improving and constantly improving the content, bringing you better and better stuff. That's because you guys are motivating us. So definitely wanna see the comments on these two videos. I wanna see you go back and forth. Definitely go back and comment on the Friday video if you haven't commented 
commented on that one or after you've done some work and then and the, the experience you're having now go back and comment on it it helps to build up the, uh, the the viewership of the video which is really awesome for you guys because it helps us bring again more content and with that said hopefully you had a beautiful weekend and uh, you got a lot of growth out of this and remember only the confident really live see you in the next video